squeal. <coughs> what? No. Squeal. Like in deliverance. Oink. Oh, Jesus, protect me. Jesus, protect me. Jesus, protect me. <coughs> Not today. <laughs> A lot of people seem to think the question is, what the hell is wrong with these kids? Well, I ask, what the hell do these kids do to us? You know, it's a fast food, short-term, technological driven world where they're told to stay inside, buy this, use that, think this. And you know what? Go outside, kids. Because the more you stay inside and the more you don't think for yourself in this commercial world, this is the kind of stuff that happens, like we saw at this brutal school massacre this morning. 43 students. Two teachers and one police officer were shot and killed here today before Herman Howards was apprehended in the school computer center at 12.40 p.m. An act like this is truly disgusting. You know what, Chet, my friend? You're the one that's disturbing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a moment to read some emails we've been getting from some viewers this morning. One, I love you, Lax. Thanks, viewer. You're the problem, pretty boy. I'm the problem? You were in my dream last night, Lax. Thanks again. Why don't you lax my balls? Right back at you, viewer. And then the ominous. Your time is coming. We're watching you. Signed with a UABASS. That one bothers me, but let's stick to this next one. Bloody Broom has arrived. Hi, right, Chet here. We're here with the school guard for Broom High. So, sir, how long have you been a guard at Broom High? Uh, eight years starting this September. And did you know Herman Howard personally? What do you mean, know him? Well, did you ever talk to him? Nah, the kid seemed all sorts of f***ed up. Can I say f***ed up? You can say what you like. Yeah, he was f***ed up. You know, the mother didn't even see this coming. What kind of mom doesn't see this in a kid like that? She must have been screwed up too. So you're saying there could have been signs to see this coming? I guess. I mean, the kid had no friends. What kind of kid grows up with no friends? Well, did you ever sit with him at lunch? Mm, no, we don't sit with the kids, sir. So, but you were on your lunch break when this happened. Yeah, what of it? Well, I'm just trying to place where everyone was. You mean place the blame? Place the blame on the video games, the music, and now place the blame on the school guards? Go f yourselves, why don't you? Uh, hi, it's Chet back here with a student at Broom High, Michael. Now, Michael, did you ever think something like this was possible to happen at your high school? No one ever thinks that type of thing is possible until it happens. <clears throat> well, do you consider yourself a jock? I play sports. Did you know Herman? What do you mean know him? Well, did you pick on him? He's evil. Why do you think he was so angry? I don't know. Too many video games, too much TV. Something like that. What do you mean? Well, I mean, he was really into violent movies and video games. So, do you think that means we should blame these violent movies for what Herman did? I don't know what it means, but it means something, right? What do you think the authorities should do with them? I think we should kill them on TV. Why? Because the only way I can get to sleep at night is by watching him die. There you have it, folks. Our own Michael Green, here at Broom High. This is Chet. Herman Howards is not your everyday criminal. He is a terrorist. And this is why I believe his execution should be live on TV for the world to see and so our children can see what an animal this guy truly is. Thank you. Alright, well, pull up, Herman. Slax Morales. The f is that shit on your shirt? Stripes? Why do, you, why, do, why do you have stripes on your shirt? Because they look stupid, but they're actually supposed to be smart. Okay, that's cool. Sounds like the seal of approval. May I interview you now? How much money do I get for talking to you? <laughs> you don't get anything. Any money goes to the families of the victims that you just killed their children. Is it part of the story? Well, I don't know what the standard would be for a story like yours. That's because there's no standard for what I've done. Oh, come on, Herman. You killed 42 people. Somewhere in that world, that happens every week. What makes you special? I'm a 16-year-old from a white middle-class family. That's some broke Arab sucker who grew up playing with pebbles. Thinks he's going to martyr and lay 70 virgins in heaven. You ever been with a virgin? That's heaven. And Islam is more, even more f***ed up than Christianity. Mm -hmm. And you're religious, Herman? God is dead. 
Where did you read that? Just something I figured out. Well, did you ever get picked on a lot of school, Herman? Every day. <laughs> Tell me about it. Jacks call me names, pull the underwear out my ass. I'm sick of that shit, you know? Just, they've always pushed me around. Stuff like that. Would you ever thought to do something like you did if Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold hadn't done it first in Colorado all those years back? But they did. Hmm. I know, Herman. Pretend they had. Come on. They became real famous af afterwards. Everyone knows who they are. They even had a generation named after them. So you look at them as heroes? Yeah. Why? They said f you to the assholes. After Columbine, nerds started to get respect. Now that I've hit the scene, they'll be running the schools. So, you're telling me you feel like you're part of some sort of revolution? You'll see. All over the country. Kids are going to start doing what I did until you assholes finally realize that, they, that we are here. We matter, Lax. What about the 39 kids you shot and killed in cold blood, Herman? Are they not part of your revolution? F*** them. They grouped me in with the freaks. <laughs> they thought I didn't count. Well, Justin Brinkley was considered a freak, but you killed him anyways. Listen, I did that fat bastard a favor. Look, I didn't say I wanted to be grouped with those losers. I didn't have shit to do with those nerds. I'm an individual. Don't forget that. You think anyone could do what I did? <laughs> no, sir. There's only one Herman Howards, and now history will remember me. I'm sure. No, you don't talk like the average 16-year-old. I'm not your average 16-year-old. I'm America's worst nightmare. <laughs> You kids still play Doom? Of course. I mean, what would you say is the goal of the game? I'd say to shoot up everyone and get lots of points. Mm hmm. Now, how about Postal? You ever hear that game? I own it. It's hard to get. Yeah. Explain to me, Herman. I've never had a chance to play. Alright, so you're a postal worker, and you go into work one day, fed up, finally had enough. So you start shooting everyone and try to get lots of points. I think you, if you shoot people in the face, you get more points rather than shooting in the stomach, in the legs, or in the back of the head. You shoot up women and children too? I think you get less points for them. Your mom supports you playing in video games like Postal Herman? I don't think she knows anything about it. <clears throat> Would you say that playing these games has numbed you to your violence? I don't get your question. Would you say that, you know, playing these games like Postal and Doom has made it easier to go into your school and shoot up these kids? Your peers, teachers, stuff like that. Of course it did. How do you think I got to be such a good shot? I mean, at one point this girl started running for the door and, you know, she's, she's like 50 feet from me or whatever. And, you know, she's running, she's running, she's running, and BAM! She thinks she's getting to the door, but no, nah, she gets shot in the back of the fucking head. I, I'm, th I'm not talking about some, like, low-end, lifetime movie kind of effect. I'm talking about brains splattered all over the windows and this f***ing nerd's glasses, you know? That's the last thing you're going to expect from someone just getting brains all over this kid. <laughs> you think that's funny, Herman? You had to be there. Do you even know the girl's name, Herman? She was background. Not really a key player. It was a game, wasn't it? It's all a game, Lex. Get it straight, Herman. I'm not here to turn you into a rock star. I'm not here to make you look like a tragic hero. You're not. You're here to make money off of me. <laughs> Wrong. I'm here because there's a world outside that thinks you should be electrocuted at age 16. You shot up an entire school, and they want to see you dead on national television. I don't care if you want to look cool or not. I don't give a shit about me. F*** you. Your story. All I care about is my story, Sherman. I'm nobody's story. Alright? I'm me. You say. They don't kill you? Are you worried about what's going to happen next? No, once they transfer you to the population? They'll never transfer me to the population. I'm more important than Paris Hilton. Yeah, but you're worth more to them dead than alive, Herman. When you were 11, your sister was hurt in a hit and run, right? Right. And she died a few days later? Yep. Were you close to her? We had our moments. Mm, you want to tell me about them? It's not nice to talk to strangers about dead people, you know. So, you did care about her? She was my sister. Yeah. Uh, and you were home when it happened, correct? Yep. 
happened right outside your house. You, you've done your homework, Lex. Did you go out and help her? No. Why not? Because <clears throat> I was 11. There wasn't a whole hell of a lot I had done. That was there. Did you call your mom? What? Did you call your mom when you found out what happened? she have done anyway? I imagine she would have rushed home. I really don't get it. Don't get what? I'm done talking to you today. Well, we haven't been going very long. Um, I'd appreciate if you put a little more effort into this, you know, but I guess I'll come back tomorrow. So, Herman, could you tell me about the worst thing that's ever happened to you in school? Now, that's a hard question. Nerd. nerd! Swirly nerd ah. geek! Dweeb. Star Wars noob! Hey! hey. Noob! What? What, oh, the, hey. what the devil do you boys think of you? What's going on here? Hey, you! Herman, Herman, do you know these boys? Yeah? What are their names? Michael. And the other one? Michael. They're both Michael? Nah, well, Herman, let me tell you something. You know, all these fights that you have with these boys, you don't know. Well, listen, you're a sophomore, right? Yeah. I remember when I was your age, the older boys would treat me the same way. Can I just go now? Yeah, sure. You felt like God hurt me. Don't you want to feel like that? Do you think we're alike? Do you think you and me are the same? Well, Herman, I felt like God before. I felt like God when I saw people collapse and die in front of my eyes, but I didn't feel like God knowing that I inflicted that on anybody, which I could never do. No, God was nowhere to be found in those sorts of days, just strolling through our existence, and I will feel God beside me when I see you getting your vengeance and the country seeing your lifeless body in an electric chair. That's why I understand that there is a God, to make sure that Revenge for the people that you affected comes back its way towards you. I hope you get an answer. I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you feel bad about what you've done, Herman? Between you and me? Sure. Turn the camera off. Alright. What does it matter, anyways? Well, that works both ways. I won't use it. And turn it off? It's off. All you gotta do is just turn it off, you know? I turned it off. Are you happy now? To be honest, I'm scared. I don't want to die. I feel like I just started living. Sometimes I wish I can even take it back. You know, and hit reset. Like, cause I can't. No, Herman, you can't. <clears throat> What? Think my name? Think my nightmares will ever go away? No, Herman. I don't think they will. Me neither. Think I'm gonna go to hell? I think. I think I have all I need here. Thank you for your time, Herman. That's it. That's your 15 minutes, kid. say something to the viewers at home. 
You may not like me. One thing's for sure. You will never, never forget me. Goodbye, America. Good luck. Hit the switch, boys. It's wet.